Hello everyone and welcome back to Yakuza 0 in the last session. What were we doing? I think we were doing some side quest stuff, right? Uh, I have I have finally got all of the places in the Pleasure King area. We have, as you can see, on the right hand side, a tick in every box and the payout is ready. Oh boy, let's grab that. Oh wait, we can't. The Pleasure King wants to see us. We need to go to Senrio Avenue. So, where is that? Oh, right. I need to go outside to have a look-see. So, this is our, I guess, midway point? Because you, we've met everyone twice, right? You meet them once and they challenge you to some random thing. It was karaoke and outrun. And then uh, you meet them a second time and that's when you actually fight. So, uh, I assume it's going to be all the way down here somewhere. Pink Alley... Senrio Avenue. Okay, so it's far side. So let's head on over there. I also, uh, I've got, I've got every building in all three of the districts I've done so far. And oh right, I also have got a couple of side quests to do that I walked into and walked out of. So they'll show us that exclamation mark on the mini map. Um. Where was I? What was I just saying? <laughs> I have just lost my own train of thought. Nice. Oh yeah, uh, including the one that was the one in the Sega shop where I had to play Outrun a bunch of times and I had to get a high score on Outrun. And that was terrible. Oh boy, I do not like Outrun at all, but I did it. Hmm, is that? <laughs> it was so awful. Oh honey, I know how you feel. I realized it was hard on you. But you know, you really can't deny your customer like that. Actually, yes, she can, in fact. Eh? Yeah. If the customer's being a dickhead, fuck the customer. Wait. Maybe saying fuck the customer is not the right words to choose in sex work. If you quit now, all your hard work will be for nothing. <sighs> but... It'll be okay. Nothing bad will happen. Leave it to me, honey. You trust me, don't you? Hi. Yes, of course. I've never been able to trust anyone else in this business, but I trust you like an older sister. <laughs> then you do what your big sis says, okay? Just hang in there a little bit more for me. Okay, thanks for looking out for me. I'll work even harder. Oh. <sighs> what a basic bitch. Complaining about a customer's little fetish like that. Jaguar-chan. Yes? I think it's about time we offer that little tuna to the usual fish market. To them? Don't you think it might be a bit soon for that? Maybe we should see how things go. If that hussy's getting huffy over a little thing like that, we can't expect to make much of her in the future. Besides, she's worked enough to pay back her debt and then some. She might realize it soon, so now's the time to do it. Understood. <laughs> oh, women are so stupid. And the men who spend big money on them are equally stupid. I suppose in the end, they're all just idiots eating each other out. Hmm? That's... What up, motherfuckers? Oh my! If it isn't Kiryu-chan, you naughty boy! You should have let me know you were here. You look sexy as always. Hmm? So, did you come to have some fun? Our free coupon got your attention, did it? You're a big boy with a healthy appetite after all, Kiryu-chan. No, that's not it. You're the one who called me out here. Eh? Oh, now that you mention it, you're right. I absolutely forgot about that. Silly me. Nah. Honey, won't you play a little game with me? A game? <laughs> you took on the Leisure King in a karaoke battle, right? I want some one-on-one -on -one time with you, too. What kind of battle would this be? Hmm, let's see. 
We're all adults here, so we can make it something fun. Ooh, I know. Let's make it a telephone club battle. Nani? Nani? A telephone club battle? Eh? Right. If you manage to score a date with a girl within three minutes, you win. How's that, hot stuff? Of course, if you win, you get a slice of my property pie. If you lose, you give me a share of your holdings instead. Oi, how can I trust you? You run these places. Isn't there going to be some kind of catch? Oh, I'm not going to do anything shady. That's the tea for truth. Also, don't I run these places now? I literally bought every single place. <laughs> a game's no fun if you cheat. Don't you trust me? We'll use the Telltale Boys Club. I'm not involved in the management there, so the battle will be fair and square. I mean, it's not exactly a battle if you're not battling. It was a, the first two were a battle because we were directly competing. But you, this time I'm battling a time limit and you're doing nothing. Would that be okay with you? Uh, sure. That's fine. <laughs> okay then. Let's do this. So how the fuck do you... I mean, is it just going to be choosing responses and hoping you get one that they want to hear? I'm sorry, you're not involved with the management, but you can still sit on the counter? Okay, let's get it on, honey. I win if I score a date with a girl in three minutes, right? <laughs> That's right. No shade, but you don't seem like the type to go to telephone clubs. Do you really think you can pull this off? <laughs> huh. Don't judge a book by its cover. Uh, Love's on the line at the telephone club. If you get a date with a girl within three minutes, you win and your share increases. If you lose, your share decreases. Smooth operators get a share of the area. Key is like... Can I pull this off? I pull myself off every night. It can't be very different. <laughs> telephone Club. This is a telephone dating simulation minigame with lots of tits by the looks of it. Those are two interesting pictures. I'm sure this will go fine. Oh boy. <laughs> Do I even want to fucking show this on? I guess I'm locked in there. Well, fuck it, whatever. Oh, it should be fine. Hopefully. Please, YouTube, don't kill me. But with the mechanics of a shooting game. Wait, what? Mechanics of a shooting game. Aim well to have your character say all the right things, keep the conversation going, and to convince the girl on the other end to go on a date with you. Right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Girls will call into the telephone club every now and then. When the phone rings, an input icon will appear. Press the correct button quickly to pick up the phone. If you do not answer in time, they'll hang up. Once you pick up the phone, the conversation begins. To chat up a girl successfully, you'll need to choose the correct dialogue options without being too distracted by fantasies. Try not to offend or creep the girl out. Different dialogue lines will float around. Once you find your desired response, charge your telephone beam by rotating and holding R. Aim with L and then release R to shoot your line. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> what? Uh, so you like start at the bottom... And you circle it up to the top right like a fucking ancient telephone. Okay, I guess we are in ancient times. That does make sense. Ancient. A.K.A. like, you know, not that old really. But before I was born. Anything before I was born, that's fucking ancient, you know. That's like Roman times. Um, so you, okay, you aim with left stick. You, okay. Shoot the right dialogue lines to build up the mood. But if you hit the wrong words, your character might... The character might say something that could upset the girl, and then she'll hang up on you. If you want to hang up, hold LB. This can be useful if you get a bad feeling about a girl. Not every caller will be your type, and her voice can be a clue. Right. There are some personal questions you can only ask when the conversation is going well and the girl is in a good mood. The vital question roulette might pop up when that happens. The first roulette enables you to ask about the girl's body, and the second about her face. With this info, your idea of what the girl looks like will grow more detailed. The third roulette will let the girl will let you ask the girl out on a date, succeed in picking the right line, and she'll agree to meet with you. The choices will be spinning quickly, but the, the right one will be highlighted. Press the A button when it is at the front. Right. Well, I see no way that I could possibly lose this. 
playing a game for the first time where I'm not. I, I kind of get what they were saying about the balls, but like. <laughs> what the fuck? Mush mush. Mush mush. <laughs> okay, so I do that. Uh. You sound young, I guess. Why is it? Oh, I let go, right? I have to let go to fire. Oh god, I, s I said you sound tough. <laughs> Dawn under. Fuck's sake. I forgot I had to let go and then I fucked it. Uh oh. What's your body type? Uh, lean and muscular. Wait, no, that's lean and molecular. Oh, I fucked it. You know what? I'm just <laughs> hanging up. Wait, I can't. Why is it not letting me hang up? God damn it. I fucked that up so hard. <laughs> I don't think I've got time to fucking succeed now, do I? I've probably, I've already already fucked it. I thought it said muscular and it said fucking molecular. That is the most extra way I've ever seen of picking up a phone. Mush mush. Mush mush. So then. Uh, something more personal? Do you work? Oh, that, wait, one question fills it up halfway? Okay. Do you have a job? Real estate. Okay, this is going better. This is going much better. I bet you're loaded. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Describe your body. <laughs> we have we have had two questions. Oh my god. Bro. What is this game? Fuck me. Oh, there's another round of this then, I see. Uh, your best feature. Ah. There we go. Charm point what you Oh god, it takes three this time. Okay. What? No, I didn't. What? <laughs> I didn't fucking let go of the thing! Aww. I didn't fucking let go of the so thing, this is bullshit! <laughs> uh, you're popular. <laughs> Man, I'm already like halfway through the time. Fuck. Okay, at least it pauses during the conversations. I hadn't realized that, so that's good. What should I call you? Sweetheart? I missed. Fucking hell, I keep missing. So then. How old is she? Oh my god. Bruh. Because I'm a grown woman, motherfucker, your previous answer was I'm barely legal. I don't know about that one, chief. What the fuck is this, man? Fungal toenail. What? Wait, no. Oh, fuck. I, I thought it said fun to talk to. Well, I've shat the bed on this one. Okay, I need to 
What? Okay, sometimes it just seems to, like, let go even though I'm not letting go. Uh, where's fucking lean? Okay, up here. God damn it. What? Okay, sometimes it really does just fucking let go without me. No! Oh my god. Bro, let me hit the fucking right one. It's right behind it. Oh, come on. Oh, this is so fucking... There we go. Fuck me. Wait, it needs another three? There's no... There's no shot. There's no shot I'm getting another three in 20 seconds. Well, maybe, I mean, it does slow down. It does stop when you're talking, but... If it keeps hiding behind another... Could you fall for a telly club girl? I think so. No! <laughs> 12 seconds left. Have we got have we got this? We got this. Oh, thank God. Seven fucking seconds oh, left. <laughs> yup. Oh my God. What the fuck, bro? What the fuckity fuck? How's that? I scored a date. <laughs> oh, honey. I should have known you get around. You were fabulous. Condragulations. Hmm? Fabulous? Wait. How do you know how the conversation went? No way. Yeah. Yes way? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the caller on the other end was me. Nani? Nani? No. How can that be? The voice was completely different. Oh, uh, don't underestimate the Pleasure King. It's easy peasy for me to change up my voice like that. <laughs> wow, but your seduction technique was so fierce. You really turned me on. I'm never going to make this mistake again. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't be so uptight. We had our little fun, and I'll give you a share of my area as promised. You won the battle. Area increased by 10%. Clappers. Well, we've got the area, and we've got every shop, so it can't be long until she invites us to fucking battle, right? Does she- wait. I, does she go by she? I can't tell if it's, like, just a drag thing, and he still wants to be called he, or if it's a trans thing, and she wants to be called she. I'm actually not sure. <laughs> um, I won, but somehow I feel like I lost. Oh dear. You've managed to close the you've managed to close the gap with me again. I'd better get serious pretty soon. Oh, Jaguar Chan. Yes. Beat the shit out of this guy for me. Hmm. Mm. What? Be a dear and take care of him, would you? Nani. Nani. Hey. You haven't taken advantage of our absolutely free service offer yet, right? This is my present for you, honey. And don't forget, I'm not going to let you off so easy next time. <laughs> that is, of course, if you manage to survive after dealing with these boys. Well then, I hope you enjoy our service. Oi. Hey, wait. Whoa, excuse me, sir. You'll need to deal with us. No substitutions allowed during this promotion. 
Okay, let's get started. Enjoy our absolutely free service. I'll be sure to do that. One shot. Fucking one shot, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Annihilation. B -b 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 bitch. Yeah. Talk about rough customer. Sorry about that, but not really though. Don't worry. I'll never come back to a place like this. The Pleasure King. He's more tough and cold-blooded than I thought. Is it like Kiryu's calling him he? But I'm. I thought the girl. I thought the sex worker that was talking when we arrived. I thought that they called her she, so I'm really not sure. Maybe she just doesn't care, in which case, that's fine. <laughs> He's more tough and cold-blooded than I thought. I'll have to face him in battle soon, and it's not going to be easy. Right, okay. Um... Yeah, that's right, fuck off. That's right. Okay, well, let's go collect our payouts then, shall we? And then we'll see how quickly we get summoned for the, uh... Huh, can I, do I have... How much How much do I have? I, I bought all of the, uh, the business upgrades, right? I have another six. Yeah, I got all of those. What was I getting? Mr. Shakedown's more likely to take a nap in the park. Sure. Yeah, that's right. I wanted to see the limit break on Golden Pistol. Fuck knows if I'll actually get enough CP to be able to do that, but... Why not, hey? Why not? It's probably a better long-term investment than just... Don't run out of stamina for slightly longer. Excuse me. I'm starting to learn the layout of the city, like, without needing to look at the map, which is good. Especially because, as far as I'm aware, like, all the future games take place in this city as well, right? So it's like, obviously, time changes, but the layout of the city itself I will get used to and get to know it and everything. Okay, let's do this then. Payout. Gimme. 63, 73 big ones. Very nice. 78 big ones. 70 big ones. It's a king battle. Clappers. Up to 80%. Love to see it. And I haven't done anything in the Gambling Kings area yet. That'll be next up after we take down the Pleasure King. Because those ones are expensive. <laughs> It's like 300 million per property kind of shit in the final area. So, like, even after a full collection there, we're only at 241, so... It will take a while of off-screen grinding to get all those buildings, for sure. So... Right, uh... Did I already... I already S-ranked all of this, right? Yeah, nice. How... Ooh, okay. You are coming off. <laughs> you are at minus three. That's not good. Five stars, though. We do love a five star. Uh, zero. Do, do, do. You're already on duty. Sure, the Leisure King. You're up, mate. Uh, you also need to get off there. Uh, minus four to begin with. That's not good. Man, some of these are really bad, huh? I guess you'll, you'll do. You'll do. Sure. Oh, is this going to get maxed out? 
Uh, are you the best I have? One circle, three stars. Yeah. Hell yeah. Seven, seven million up to 9.3 million. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, this isn't going to get there. Needs another few, because we still don't have a good fucking restaurant person. Now this is going to get there, for sure. Uh, I don't think we even need the expensive 2.2 million one. We can just do a cheeky 480 grand and then plonk 10.5 million to 14 million. That is huge. That is huge. Another fucking restaurant one with shitty McShit advisor here. a good one for you. I, I never did figure out if the 8.8 .8 million costing 3 star but only 1 circle is better than the 2.8 million costing 2 star but has 2 circles. Because like that's pretty good. I don't know. Someone let me know. Uh, and we just started working on this. This is the one that required all the outrun. Fuck outrun. Let's try you. 8.8 .8 mil. Does that absolutely bang through it? I didn't even complete a single fucking line. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. You're still fine to stay on. Uh, ba -ba -ba. And this is where stuff just starts taking fucking forever to level up. <laughs> this place is making 20 mil in a single session at rank B. That shit is going to be up to like 30 or higher mil by the time it's maxed. <laughs> the only problem is it's going to take a long fucking time to max. A long fucking time to max. Oh, that's pretty good. 5.8 to 8.8. I'll take that. I will take that. I've got to assume the higher costing one must be better, right? Lovely. But it could be a scam, I don't know. Ah <laughs> oh, yes, my favourite place, the No Panties BBQ. <laughs> Love a good old BBQ, my favourite. And that one's maxed out. Good, good. Uh, you can both stay on, that's fine. And last but not least, this one, where it goes up by a fucking millimetre every time. We're almost at B rank. Woohoo! And I don't bother putting staff on this place. Um, but I will have to start bothering soon, I guess. Right. Go. 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 Boom. We did it. Clap. Huge claps. All right. So. Now, it is time to check out the side stories that I unlocked whilst building up my businesses. I think there's two. There was one... There's one there, and where was the other one? Was there not two? Oh, I thought I'd unlocked a second one somewhere. Maybe I'm thinking of a previous time. Huh, okay. Oh, no, I know the one I'm thinking of. I was thinking of, if, I think it was like right here, or potentially right here. I think it was, I think it was here. Uh, I met, I, I ran into this city's version of Mr. Libido, the fucking guy that, we had a main quest cutscene with in the other city with um, with uh, Majima, and uh, he's he's equally terrible in this city. So I'm afraid you did miss that. He didn't he didn't have a quest. I think you just have to like keep talking to him or something. That's what I was thinking of. But uh, yes, don't worry. My reaction was just as just as what the fuck <laughs> as uh, <laughs> as it was the first time. Okay, so, can't remember for the life of me what the opening of this quest was. Let's have a look. Hey, you two. 
I don't know what's going on, but take it easy. You're clearly stronger than her. Aww. Huh? Stay out of this. This woman is filth and she needs to learn her lesson. Yeah. No way. I'm not going to sit back while you guys beat up a defenseless woman. Aww. Huh? Well then, we'll just have to kick your ass first then. You can't watch if you're out cold. <laughs> that makes sense, except the kicking my ass part. Real funny. Eat this. A lot of eating about to be done here. Bro's got a taser. Nice taser, bro. God damn it, it is a nice taser. <laughs> Fuck me. One punch! <laughs> ah, please, enough. Stop. Bitch. Sorry for that ruckus. Yeah. Oh, no, not at all. You saved my life. Thank you so much. Now, is it going to turn out that this woman is actually a piece of shit? Like, obviously, don't beat people up, but like... Is it going to turn out she is a piece of shit? Please, take this. You got a toughness Z. Well, hey. Oh, I should know that's not nearly enough for saving me. Yeah. No, no, it's too much already. Yeah. Oh, please. I couldn't possibly let you go with so little. If I may, I would like to thank you more fittingly. Do you have some time? I sure do. Ain't got nothing but time, baby. Yes, I'm free for a bit, but... Oh, you do? Thank you. But this is hardly the place. Can we go somewhere we can sit and talk? Uh, sure. I get the feeling this woman is in fact a piece of shit. Thank you again for saving me. I'm also sorry for not introducing myself sooner. I'm Nezu. I'm Kiryu. Kiryu-san, I'm sorry I asked you to join me here, but I simply couldn't let you go without thanking you properly. Uh, it's no problem, but what exactly did you have in mind? Eh? Yes, yes, I shouldn't keep you. This is it. Mm? Is this some kind of soda? It's aha water. Mm? Aha water? Eh? Yes, drinking it removes impurities from your blood. Your circulation will improve noticeably. <laughs> it leaves your face feeling supple and smooth. It can also be used for cooking. It enhances all the delicious natural flavours of the ingredients. This is a sales pitch. Oh, that's impressive. My diet hasn't been the greatest lately. I do worry about my health. A man living on his own can easily slide into poor eating habits. Yes, that's completely understandable. Kiyu-san, since you saved my life, I can give you a huge discount on this. Not even free. Not even free, bro. Aha, uh, water costs 1.5 million yen for a month's supply. For you, I can offer it at just a million yen. Nani. Nani. This water costs so much that a million is a discount. It's only natural that one should spend money on a product that this fantastic. You can't put a price on your health. Mm. But just drinking this water will do that? Eh? Yes, yes. It does wonders for your vitality. I hear that men benefit from steel hard firmness too. You know, down there. Smooth circulation, supple skin, and steel vitality. Eh? Yes, yes. Ample resolve. Ready to spring into action. So, you will buy our water for a million yen? No. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I'm in no position to be blowing money on water at the moment. Uh, my guy, you have like 200 million in your bank account. <laughs> oh, but there's nothing to worry about. You see, you'll only be short the money temporarily. Oh, it's a pyramid scheme. It's a pyramid. She's going to be like, because you can sell the water on to someone else. And etc, etc, etc. Temporarily. Eh? 
Yes, you see, Kiyu-san, once you buy Aha Water, you get the right to introduce Aha Water to your family and friends, so they can buy it too. Yup. Instantly. In the second. The fucking moment, she says, but it's only temporary. The fucking moment. It's like, yep, that's a pyramid scheme. Well done. Well done, you've invented a pyramid scheme. If you were to sell Aha Water for the regular price of 1.5 million yen, Kiyu-san, you get to keep 500,000 as your commission. So you're basically saying that at a million yen for mine, if I get two acquaintances to buy, I'll get mine for free. This is literally... Do you remember, do you remember like last year? Was it last year? I think so. When NFTs suddenly became big and the grifters that jumped on it immediately were like, Yo, you just have to buy this from me for like a fucking million bucks and then it will definitely keep gaining value and you can sell it for more later. And then a bunch of morons went, oh my god, oh my god, this is the future. Ah, better fucking spend all of my life savings on NFTs. And then, of course, obviously, they're fucking JPEGs. The market bottom dropped out and then a bunch of people were left with fucking million dollar JPEGs that are now worth like a penny. Because it's a fucking JPEG that I can right click save. Just had to get that rant out there, fucking NFTs. Remember? Oh man, I, I, I'm still not over the fact that there were genuinely people dumb enough to fall for that shit. Anyway, moving on. So you're basically saying that a million yen for mine. If I can get two acquaintances to buy, I'll get mine for free. Exactly, you san You catch on quick. Plus, the more I sell to the people I know, the more profit I can make. Hey. I couldn't put it any better. It's like the goose that lays the golden eggs. Just keep introducing new people to it. Keep fucking getting the gullible ones in and they'll buy off you. And yes, yeah, it's, it's fucking... For each acquaintance that buys, I make 500,000. If it's 10 acquaintances, it's 5 million yen. If it's 100 acquaintances, 50 million yen. Yes, exactly. Isn't it a fantastic opportunity? Absolutely not. Yeah. How can you call that fantastic? I can't imagine trying to sell water to anyone I know. Absolutely not. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. Such negativity. Kiyu-san, you obviously have doubts about the benefits of Aha Water. I forgot to mention, but Aha Water's benefits include rejuvenation too. I've been drinking it for about six months. Kiyu-san, how old do I look to you? Late 40s. <laughs> Late 40s, right? Pardon? Yeah, late 40s or so. Around there. Well, yes, that's very true, but I think that internally I'm quite young. Like my organs. I bet they're very young. I would think so. It's all because of Aha Water. It has so many benefits. Oh, I feel blessed. I can drink water like this every day. I still don't want it. Of course, who wouldn't want to buy this fantastic water at such a steep discount? I knew you would... Wait, I beg your pardon. Wait, did you just say no? Uh-huh. Uh Why would I need rejuvenation effects? I'm only 20. <laughs> Grr, stubborn boy. I'm up to this challenge, though. <laughs> What's your next move? Hello there, handsome. Hmm? Nani? He's all yours. Hi. Okay. Oi. Hey, who is this lady? Keiyu-san, I would like to introduce you to the Aha Water Sales Strategy Team's account executive. <laughs> I'm now delighted to meet you. Whoa, this lady is dynamite. Is she though? You know, if you were to buy some Aha Water, it would make me oh so happy. So, so happy. Is, is that right? If you were to buy some Aha water, I would be even willing to throw in a little something to remember me by. A little something? <laughs> oh, you're going to make a lady say it? I'll blush. But it'll be just for you, Kiyu-san. If you buy our Aha water, you won't regret the satisfaction. Hmm. Please, buy some Aha water, pretty please. I would love it if you bought some. Oh, come on, Kiyu-san, say you will. Please buy some Aha water for me. I'm not buying. 
sure, of course. But what you really mean is... Hmm? What I really mean? Come on. I'm really not buying. <laughs> yeah. I'm really not buying. Did I just hear what I think I did? I said I'm not buying. I'm never going to buy that water. But no man has ever resisted my sales pitch. Unbelievable. <laughs> Use every trick in the book if you want, but I'm not spending my money on your water. <laughs> hmm? What's so funny? <laughs> You're truly an inspiration, Kiryu-san. I've never met anyone like you before. Now, Chan, I think we're done here. You can go. <laughs> oh wait, that was her talking. Now, Chan, I think we're done here. You can go. Okay. People who fall for shallow platitudes and the promise of money. People who get caught up in the moment. I have met many people like that. I feed off the foolishness of such people. I make them buy merchandise, and I profit from their stupidity. But you seem to be different. We live in a time that is awash in money. They throw it around without considering where it goes. Who cares? But not you. You have the willpower to resist temptation. In fact, I never expected to meet someone like you. This is a small token to express how I feel. Would you take it, please? You got Mew shoes. What the fuck are they? Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Turning you down is hard work. I'm parched. Oh, you're thirsty. Here, have this. <laughs> it's our water. Uh. Oh, thanks. Hey, this is our water. Oh, it is. I'm sorry. It was here, so I just grabbed it. Hey, you're not going to try and charge me for... Hmm? Hmm? What the? I... I feel like I'm suddenly full of energy. <laughs> God damn it. Don't tell me the twist is going to be that it actually does do the things that they were claiming. It... I can feel my blood coursing through my veins. Eh? Yes, that is the power of our hot water. Do you believe now? <sighs> I'd hope to share it with you at an enormous discount as thanks for saving me. It's very disappointing. Hmm. I have to be going. Goodbye, Kiryu-san. What the fuck? <laughs> Bruh. Kiryu stands up and he brings the table with him. Because he's got that fucking steel cock that they mentioned. <laughs> ah, water. I wish I could have tried it under better... Oh, what the fuck? I didn't click anything. It just fucking disappeared without me clicking A. That's rude. New video clip that I'll never watch. Yay! Alright. Um, payout is ready, so... Let's go grab that because I feel like it's probably going to immediately lead to the finale with the Pleasure King. Because we've bought everything and we've done the previous meeting, so I've got to imagine. Oh. What, who broke a bone? Cool, yeah. Oh, this is just a fight. Okay, I thought it might have been a side story. It's just a fight. Let's just kill him. You die! Okay, that was unexpected. <laughs> what is with the high knee, my guy? Yeah, fuck off. Uh... Sure. Uh, 
Yeah, why not? Leave something there. Can we leave a space there, I guess. Should we pop a save? Bro, how is my playtime over 24 hours already? My goodness. <laughs> okay, so will I be correct? Will we get an invite from the Pleasure King? Like, pretty sharpish. Much 2.2 to 2.9, didn't even go up to 3, bruh. Uh, you guys can stay. Oh boy, here we go again with this one. Spend lots of money, barely get any improvement. That's the Pleasure King way. Okay, actually. That one's definitely going to be worth it. But. I wish you could automate this. I wish there was a way to, like, just... Set someone to always be the person that is the advisor for a specific place. And then just press, like, advise all. And then everyone gets advised at once by the person you already have set to be their advisor. Kind of thing. Because it do be taking a while. Which is why I do most of it off screen, but considering we're like right about to get the final the final Pleasure King thing, I just want to make that, I want to force that to happen whilst I'm already recording. So that I can get it done and then I can do all the Gambling King buying stuff off camera, you know? Uh, you can stay on there. Oh my god, is this finally the time when we level it up? Oh my god, 480 all the way up to 640? That's not even a fucking increase, are you joking? It's barely any different. Motherfucker. So did we really not get an invite from the fucking Pleasure King that time? God damn it. Do you have anything you need to say? I really thought we were going to get an invite. Son of a bitch. Okay, so... I believe... It is main quest time. Let's head home. Unless, of course, we get stopped on the way by any other uh, side quests. Well, it does appear to finally be main quest time. Bye. The only thing with uh, constantly stopping people from fighting me uh, by throwing money is that I'm pretty sure there's more CP to be gained by, like, fighting a whole ton of people on the street. And so by constantly scattering the money, I am not getting those fights, and so I will never get that CP. So, yeah, I don't know. 
Maybe, maybe I should let them fight me sometimes. Head to the apartment. What madness will be the next thing to occur in Z main quest? I wonder. Yoink. <laughs> 